What's up guys, Luke's in here. Today I'm going to show you a little program called DxTory, which is a gro uh, great program because it's kind of like Fraps and Camtasia Studio. And it's a lot better than both these programs, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. But basically it's a program you can get for like $40, but you can get it for free illegally, which I do not suggest you do because that is illegal, and I do not support that whatsoever. Anyway, um... Uh, the reason it's better than Camtasia, first off, well, personally, Fraps and DxTory are better than um, Camtasia for the fact that when you're recording a video game or something, um, it uh, records in better audio and video quality, so um, it's a lot better for um, stuff like that. And the reason it's better than Fraps is because when Fraps records um, a game, it records in multiple large files. Whenever it hits four gigabytes, it makes it creates a new file. DxTory um, generates one big file, which is really easy when you're editing it down. And it also, um, when you're recording, it doesn't take at um, at all the uh, same processing power that Fraps does or graphics card uh, power. So it's a lot, um, it's a lot more friendly to. Um, less powerful computers which is really nice for people who don't have really expensive computers um so other than that um let's get started and i'm gonna show you how to use it a bit first thing you want to do is go to overlay and you can obviously edit this to whatever you want change the colors but make sure you have everything checked and then you want to go to the folder and basically this is where you save everything to when you're going to record you can just click this just go to whatever you want and then you want to make sure you have it checked you can add it so it records to two different folders at the same time if you really want to, but <clears throat> it take um, twice the computer power. So yeah, um, for hotkey, this is just what you um, use to start capture and end capture. So if you click on it, you can change it to whatever you want by hitting the key on the keyboard. I'm just gonna leave mine the way it is. If you go to movie, this is where everything is important. First thing you want to make sure you have is you want to check default setting. Then you want to make sure your codec is DxTory video codec, and you want to go to the configuration and make sure you have it on whatever quality would best fit your computer. Obviously, for medium and low, for medium and low computers, and um, I would suggest high comp high quality for um, if you have a good computer. I would suggest not doing true quality because um, basically it makes the file a lot larger than it normally would be. And also you want to compress so it's also not a large file and just hit OK. Now you want to make sure your frame rate is either 30 or 60 or 29.97 which is pretty much 30 but it really doesn't matter. Um, the reason being is anything past 60 is just a waste of effort and YouTube can only pick up 30 frames per second so it's not like it really matters what frame rate you have. So I would suggest just picking 30 but if you really want to do 60 go ahead and do that. Um, for output you want to make sure you have file output checked and direct show output unchecked. For file format you want to have AVI unless you're recording to multiple external hard drives which in that case you probably know what you're doing and you probably should select raw cap and yeah. For options you want to include mouse cursor and make sure that synchronized video FPS is unchecked. I really don't know what that does but it, um, my videos work fine without it having checked so I would suggest leaving that alone. For scaling you want to make sure you have it on sign because percent um, you can mess with that if you want but I would suggest having it on size as 1280 by 720. Um, that's pretty much all there is to that. You want to go to audio and you want to go to um, well first when you add the first audio you obviously want to pick microphone so it picks up your uh, sound when you talk into it when you, with your microphone then you want to click the plus button and go to 2 and you want to select your speakers so that they can hear what's going on in the game you can obviously add more things if you have um, something else that you're recording audio at the same time as well but for now this is really all I use I just use my voice and the game voice um, so once so you're done with that you can go to screenshot you can mess around that if you want you can just change this to whatever quality and whatever format. I prefer JPEG and I would probably do 100. And for size, 1280 by 720. But anyway, um, advanced, you don't want to mess with this unless um, you're having some troubles recording. If you don't have a high end uh, computer, you want to select three or four. And if you have a high end computer, you want to select one or two. Um, for global, you can just check with this, whatever you. Uh, prefer and then this is the license information and stuff like that so basically when you wanna want to record a game you can just minimize it it goes to your system tray right here 
and then you can open a game like Minecraft and then log in and if you see the number up here that's how many frames you're getting um, on that specific game and if I wanted to record I would click hold down control and then R I'm not going to do it for the simple fact that it would stop my Camtasia recorder which I'm recording right now so I can't actually do that because then I would end the actual capture but it's pretty simple you just hit control R when you want to start and then control R when you want to stop and then you go to where you saved it which is here and then there'll be like a file like this and then once you do all that you're completely done and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope I helped you out a little bit if you could do me a favor and thumbs up and favorite this video to help it get it spread to other people help my channel grow and support my channel by hitting that subscribe button because it helps me out a ton and other than that I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I helped you and I hope you guys use DX Tori over Fraps because um, it's just so much better and so much more useful anyway thank you for watching bye